Okay, so now at this point, we're done with the color process. We've went on and shampooed the color out. She has a conditioner, which was thoroughly rinsed out as well. Now we're at the styling point of her hair. So what I'm doing now is I have applied my natural twist gel over the nape in the midsection of her hair. I will apply more as I pass this section up. So what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the rat tail comb and I'm only applying a certain amount of hair through the first probably no more than five teeth of the comb. And as you know rat tail tooth combs are very small in diameter as far as the tooth uh, from side to side. So I'm just applying a a parting, I'm parting it, excuse me, with the rat tail comb and I'm twisting in a downward motion. I'm going twisting right and then I pull down so that her hair doesn't get tangled inside of the comb. Once again, I'm twisting to the right all the way and then I pull down. There's no parting neatly or anything like that. It's just a grab and go. Once again, I'm twisting and I'm pulling down. I do kind of just rhythmically part and section a certain way by my eyesight, um, but I'm not going like a straight horizontal part and then a vertical part, but I am grabbing in windows, as you can see. So once I'm done, with the twisting, it will become a twist out, which means I will then begin to separate her twist into a style where she could be jazzy, sexy, chic, sophisticated, reserved, whichever way that she wants to be, authentic, ethnic. This style, it just doesn't, um, it speaks for itself, but with each client does is personalize it so some aren't ready to be natural and some wear it and rock it well so as for Ruth she is comfortable in her skin and she rocks the natural look and she trusts my judgment as far as which way I would style it direction and then she maintains it and cares for it throughout the process of being away from me which I have told her that home care would be to apply oils to her scalp and to wear a bonnet at night. The bonnet would help retain the moisture and also help for no lint to get on the natural twist. And it will sustain the look for a period of two weeks, no more than three weeks. So if you guys could see, I'll show you, if you could see from there, but you probably can't. The color application is a nice soft brown that we're going to go from. So if you see the new growth to the line of demarcation, this is the soft brown into the darker. So we're doing a different ombre. Some ombres you would go from light to dark, but this one we're going to go ahead and go from dark, I mean from light to dark instead of from dark to light. So my twisting method is not unusual, it's common. This is something that a lot of barbers learn to do in barbering school because this is what some gentlemen wear, but their hair is not as um, long. So it looks, it's totally a different look when it's shorter. This way right here where she has length on it, we're able to rock it and style it in different ways. She can get a mohawk, faux hawk, it could be twisted like as if it's a bob, just a shorter version of a bob. There's just multiple ways that we could wear this look. So with that being said, we'll be back once we're twisted all the way. Once she's done, um, once I'm done twisting her hair, she will sit under the dryer. And if you notice, I'm twisting and pulling so that it doesn't get tangled. She will sit under the dryer preferably about a good 30 minutes to let the scalp dry and let the gel settle in to set the hair in its style that I want it to be in with the twist. 
once it's dry, it will harden a little bit, but not harden um, too hard where I can't do anything to it. And then I'll go ahead and come in and separate it with some oil, a little bit of pomade, and a little bit of body shaper, and then she's good to go. So we'll be back with the last section. This is part two of roof styling segment. Thank you.